Hi, in this quick tutorial, uh, we'll explore how to start building a custom WordPress team based on the new starter team. We'll start with an empty WordPress site. If we want to test the team on some real content, we can import the WordPress test content as explained in the documentation. So let's do that. First, let's download the file from the link provided in the documentation. Then we import it into our WordPress site. OK, now we have lots of content and that will help us test all the features of our team. And here we see that the starter team documentation recommends a couple of WordPress plugins and none are required, so we can skip this step for now. And to set up our project, we download the starter team zip and unpack it into an empty folder. And this will be the main folder of our project. Or instead of downloading the zip, we can also fork the starter team GitHub repository and then use Git for managing our project. Whichever way we choose, we end up with the starter team in the folder on our computer. So let's start PineGrow and open this folder as a project. We can use the project panel to explore the project structure. Here we can see index HTML, page HTML and other HTML files that will be exported into WordPress templates. Index HTML will be exported into index.php and so on. We also have source SAS files for Bootstrap 4 and for underscore and understrap libraries that make WordPress work nicely with Bootstrap. And there we also have WooCommerce SAS files. Later we'll see how we can customize those styles by doing SAS editing directly in PineGrow. The project also contains some PHP files like sidebar PHP, search form PHP, comments PHP that will be copied directly to the exported team. The new starter team is an open source project so it comes with files like readme, license, code of conduct and so on and we can safely delete these files, otherwise they will be exported to the WordPress team. Okay, so now we are ready to export the team for the first time. Let's open the index.html. That's the main template of the team. So let's select the top HTML element and go to the WordPress panel. And there we see the WordPress site action that tells PineGrow that index.html is the master page of the team. Master page is a template for other HTML files in the project. And here we also give the name to our team. So let's change it. And as far as the slug is concerned, let's leave it as it is for now. Changing it requires that we replace the slug, the st2 slug, in all project files. And that's explained in the starter team documentation. Uh, for now, we just leave it as it is. We also need to tell PineGrow where to put the exported team. And by default, starter team uses variable to do that. But we can safely go ahead and choose our location directly. That's usually a folder within the VP content teams folder. So let's create a new folder in the teams folder and select it. And the URL field should contain the URL of the local WordPress site where we are developing the team. And with this we are ready to export the team by choosing export the team from the WordPress menu. And there is also a handy shortcut command W or control W on Windows. And now PineGrow exported the team into the folder in our teams directory that we specified earlier. And if we go in WordPress dashboard 
we can now activate our new team. And let's visit the site. And because we imported the test content, we can see how the team handles different posts, pages, comments, and various WordPress formatting options. So everything works and looks good out of the box. And that's the value that starter team brings to the team development process. And the starter team is also ready for easy customization. Let's open the customizer. Here we can see that we have a bunch of sections that let us, or the end user, easily customize the site structure, colors, backgrounds, menus, and so on. And going back to Pangro, we can see that index.html contains more elements that are hidden while we added the page in Pangro. And these are various sections and sidebars that we can activate and control with Customizer. And before we mentioned that index.html is defined as a master page for the project, we'll take a look at what this means. Let's open page HTML and select the top HTML element. In the WordPress panel, we see the WordPress site action that tells Pinegrow that this page uses index.html as the master page. And also on the page, we have an element marked with the site content action. And this means that everything before this element with the site content action and everything that comes after this element is copied from the master page. So if we want to make a change that will affect all pages in the project, we just change the master page and then run WordPress apply master page to update the other pages. Let's take a quick look at the styling of the template and uh, let's change colors of the theme. To change the primary bootstrap color, we go to the style panel, open the style sheet list and choose custom CSSS. And we can see that color variables are already listed here. And let's change the primary color. And notice how Pinegrow takes care of compiling SAS files and updating the display. We don't need any external tool or a complicated build process to work with SAS. And we have a separate tutorial about customizing Bootstrap with SAS variables. Please check, check that one for details about the process. After making the changes, we just save the page and export the team. And this was a quick introduction to the new starter team. Please take a look at the documentation to learn more. And the new starter team is free and is released as an open source project so that users who improve the team in any way can also easily share improvements with the Pinegrow community.